This is the book of Proverbs, chapter 23, verse 3. And it reads, Be not desirous of his dainties, for they are deceitful meat. NLT. Don't desire all the delicacies, for he might be trying to trick you. Verse 4. Labor not to be rich. Cease from thine own wisdom. NLT. Don't wear yourself out trying to get rich. Be wise enough to know when to quit. And it's coming to that time where our people are going to have to know when to stop pursuing this man. When to not quit, you know, just everything, but to turn from this man that has smote you with a continual stroke and to turn to your power. Yahweh Bashimah Shai, which I just said in the ancient Paleo Hebrew is the name of the Heavenly Father in the name of his son. OK, so with that, given all praises, glory and honor unto Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai. Yahweh is the name of the Heavenly Father in whom the world has ignorantly called Jehovah or Yahweh. And Yahweh Shai is the name of his only begotten son in whom the world has ignorantly called Jesus Christ. In whom we do worship. We are the Hebrew Israelites, which consist of you so-called Negroes, Latinos, Native American, and Seminole Indians, to the 12 tribes which are scattered abroad. Greetings, giving double honors unto my apostles, my elders, and my teachers at Great Millstone that are ruling well and continue to do so, that taught me and brothers like me this truth, this beautiful truth, beginning with the names of our power and of his anointing. And now these are the two most important things you will ever know. The name of the, of the Heavenly Father. The name, man. Why do you think that the, the scriptures state, call upon his name and you shall be saved. Call upon the name of the Lord and be delivered. Why do you think all the great men and women in the scriptures called upon the name of the Lord? His name must be important. If they called upon his name and were saved in miraculous ways, as Daniel from the lion's den, as the three holy sons from the fiery burning furnace. Come on now. Come on. The name of the heavenly father is. Yahweh. Yah. Meaning he. Hawa. Meaning exists. Or is or is to be. He is. He exists. He. The existing one. And in the name. Of his only begotten son. A name. Above every name. Given amongst men here on earth. To the Israelite man first, and also to the believers, consisting of women, children, helps of the prophets, and those that have faith. The name Yahawashai, Yah, meaning He, Hawashai, meaning deliverer and savior. And that is exactly what He will come and do for the second time in physical form, for He has already saved us from ourselves, from sin, and from death. But He will make that, that a reality. That death will be no more. Hey, where, where shall be said, O oh, oh grave, you know, where is thy victory? O oh, death, where is thy sting? Because we will never die again. The wages of sin is death. And if we can never sin, we can never die. And it is through this man, whom the world has ignorantly called Jesus Christ, his name, his true name, his proper name is Yahawashai. He deliverer. He savior in the ancient Paleo Hebrew. And through him, he is the doorway back to the Father, whose name is alone Yahweh. He exists. He is. He is to be. All right. All right. And there you go, man. I have to I have to really push that forward. You know, all brothers from our apostles and elders on down, because these other camps, they don't give a the, the hoo-ha about the name, man. But the name is important. Just as Paul stated, there are God's many and Lord's many. But we believe that there is one God, one power. And he has a son, an only begotten son. And through him, we are saved. The nation of Israel, beginning with the hopeful elect, that house of David. And this is going to be the man that in his days, there will be prosperity, tranquility in the earth, peace. Wherein dwelleth righteousness, a new heaven and a new earth, a new rulership and a refreshed earth being delivered from the hand of the wicked. 
But yet, we must go through these dark times that are ahead. But we have light. He is the light of the world. But yeah, you got these clowns in these other camps and all these other idiots, these pagans that call themselves Christians. They don't care about the name. It's, it's of no importance to them. Oh, well, to me, it's this. But what is his true name? You know that the Bible was not originally written in English or whatever language you read it in. It was written in Hebrew. And in the, 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 the New Testament from the Hebrew into the Greek. All right. So what is the Lord's name and his son's name, if thou can tell? And that is in Proverbs. It's a lot for rambling on, but all praises, glory and honor be unto Yahweh by Hashem Yahweh Shai. For you newcomers, now you know what the name of the Heavenly Father is and the name of his only begotten son, whom you have ignorantly called or have been ignorantly told, is God and Jesus Christ. They have true and proper names. The name Yahweh is the name of the Father. And the name Yahweh Shai is the name of the son. And that's it. Don't take my word for it. Go do your research. Why do you think that with every Bible that you buy, majority of them, there's always a, a, a concordance or an exhaustive concordance because it's going into the Hebrew and Greek words found in the Old and New Testaments. So you won't get lost. It says, let no man deceive you by any means. We're not here to deceive you. We're here to tell you the truth. We're here to prophesy. The testimony of Yahweh Shai, whom you ignorantly call Jesus Christ, is the spirit of prophecy. And we are here to prophesy what is to come. World War III. But before World War III can break out, what's going to happen? The financial system is going to collapse, but they're going to bring a new system. They're going to bring in order out of the chaos, which is their digital system, the CBDC system. And that is known in the scriptures as the MOTB or Mark of the Beast all right, that system that they're going to force all, both small and great, rich and, for, uh, rich and poor, to receive a mark to be a part of this system. But yet, the elect, Salaki Faram, yet the elect will be, as it states in Isaiah, the exile that hasteneth to be loosed so that he will not die in the pit and that his bread should fail. That's what the elect is going to be. They don't want to die in this system, this pit. And that our bread should fail because if you're not a part of this system, how are you going to eat, move and, and, and do things? That's where we separate from this man and cleave unto our power. But only the elect will do these things. And I have this clip from Andor. All right. And it, what does it say? We're exploring alternative financing arrangements for our foundation. You see that? So it says, don't be desirous of the dainty meats, man. For he might be trying to trick you. He is tricking you, man. But yeah, the, the way to do it, they say the way to a man's heart is through his stomach. Well, the way to all you damn people's minds is going to be through your stomach, through what you uh, have been accustomed to in this society. That's where the temptation is going to come in. Hence the hour of temptation. All right. Let's read on. Because many are going to labor to be rich. Many want abundance. Many want this weak ass money. But when the money changes hands from paper to digital, you're going to do anything you can do to get that money. And that's going to lead to your destruction, especially if you're a so-called Negro, Latino, Native American and Seminole Indian who are the Israelites. OK. And we have to give double honors unto our apostles, and our elders, because they taught us the truth. They're leading us the right way. They're not Judas goats. They're not hirelings. They care for the sheep. Because the Lord, as he told the disciples, he places us in care of the sheep. We were sheep, man. Would you want that to happen to you? But yeah, you got these other camps, these clowns. They don't give a damn about our people. They don't give a damn so much so that they're not even warning you of what's coming. And they know. They know. But hey, we're here to tell you the truth and nothing but the truth. All right. The truth shall set you free from the bounds of this, this place, man. So without further ado, let's read on. It says, labor not to be rich. Cease from thine own wisdom. Cease from your own wisdom. You don't know anything. Yahweh Bashim Hashai knows everything. Let every man be a liar, but let the Most High be true. If we're coming out of the words of the Lord, 
We're speaking the words of the Lord. We're not lying because the Lord doesn't lie. The hell what I got to say and what I want is what Yahweh Bashim al Shah is saying, what will happen and what is happening. All right. It says, don't wear yourself out trying to get rich. Be wise enough to know when to quit, when to just give up on this weak ass place. This place is already crumbling is through, is ugly. Know when to get the fuck out, man. It's just like playing poker or whatever. <laughs> you don't want to show your hand, but you got to know when the game is lost. Even when you play chess, um, you look at the different chess matches and the chess uh, prodigies and, and these uh, these chess uh, gurus or whatever. They're, they're so cold with the game. There'll be two of them that's on point. They just know every move. They know goddamn 20, 30 steps ahead. Not even just 10, but the, the steps ahead, right? But they know when they about to lose, they'll just they'll lay down their king and be like, hey, man, that was a good game. They'll shake hands. Hey, man, that was a good game. Man. Hey, They knew when to quit. It wasn't no damn proud ass piece of shit. No, I'm still going to win the game. Fuck that. No, they're like, I know when to quit. Right, yeah, I pretty much lost the game. It's over. You know, oh, right, a good game. But you people don't know when to quit. Because the love of the money is going to be the root of the evil that's going to come to you. It's not the money itself that's evil. It is the love of it. And what you're going to do to get it is the evil. Right? The hell with this weak ass money is through, is done, is devalued, is nothing. Why the hell would you still hold on to this? Those of you that have not faith will die. Because just like our people in the wilderness that did not believe, they died in the wilderness. Even though they were fed from heaven with mana, the waters uh, gushed out of the rock. That was split. Quail rained down. They still murmured and they died for their disbelief. But the ones that made it in, Joshua, Caleb, and that new generation believed. Moses and Aaron believed, but, you know, since they misspoke and other things of that nature and did things that were not wise, they didn't make it into the land. Moses seen the land, but he didn't make it in there. It goes to show you how detrimental this thing is, man. The Lord is serious about what he's talking about, man. These men of old, these things weren't just written down by men. They were written down by men that were moved by the Holy Spirit to write these things down. What the Lord was telling them was going to happen. Come on now. But a lot of people are going to get their ass destroyed because that what this man wrote that. Well, every goddamn thing you read or you know, man wrote it dummy but it was from the inspiration of somewhere someone Yahweh Bashim Al Shai man you cannot let that deter you from the uh from the truth man but you know enough rambling on we gonna get you will get into this man hey just gotta stay the point to Jake man Jake is so damn simple man you had this weak ass turkey day or whatever but hey we in the midst of Hanukkah man we're in uh I think it's what day is it is the seventh day of Hanukkah, if I'm not mistaken. Well, the, the seven just ended. Uh, we're, uh, we're in the, uh, the eighth. This is the, the, the final day of Hanukkah. Okay? Hanukkah, the dedication, man. So while you other clowns are eating your mess, we're praising Yahweh Bashim HaShai for the victory that we had over the Edomites and over the heathen and how we rededicated our temple back to our power, man. But now the temple is our bodies, and we dedicate that unto Yahweh Bashim Shai. A reasonable service, as Paul said. We make our body as a living sacrifice, holy and acceptable, which is our reasonable service. Sending up spiritual sacrifices through our uh, middleman, our high priest ever, Yahweh Shah HaMashiach. Come on now. While the rest of you people got the itis and y'all through, and you probably spent all your goddamn money for the month, and you're done. And you got no goddamn food in the house. But what you was eating. A lot of y'all starved a, a day or three days just to get to this day to eat. And it still didn't satisfy you. Like it tells you in Hosea, you shall eat and not have enough. You shall drink and, <laughs> and not be satisfied, man. All right. Now, this is Proverbs 23 and 5. Will thou set thine eyes upon that which is not going into this money? For riches certainly make themselves wings. They fly. Away as an eagle toward heaven. See that? In the blink of an eye, wealth disappears because all your money is just numbers on the screen. In this time, right? 
You see, because back then you had gold, silver, lands, stuff like that. Things, things you can touch, feel, lucrative things. But now you just got money on the screen. Like, man, I'm balling, man. Look at that, man. Six, 50,000. Uh, to, to half a million. What's up? But your damn bank account could be frozen or the money could be taken out or whatever the hell. The system can go off and all your money is gone. And in, in, in a blink of an eye, as the scriptures say, in the blink of an eye, wealth disappears. For it will sprout wings and fly away like an eagle. The eagle is fast, man. You can barely catch the eagle. You just see a splash of water. What the hell is that? It was an eagle taking a damn salmon out of the out of the river. You didn't see it because the eagle moved so quick and swift that it got in and got out fast that your eye couldn't even pick it up. That's how fast your money going to be gone. The money you think you have. Fuck out of here, man. But you didn't put your riches in heaven. The elect did. Those that trust in Yahweh Shemashai did. And they're going to be they're going to be withdrawn from that bank account, that that faith bank. Why the rest of you people that that put all your all into this weak ass carnal uh, of money. And then this side, you ain't going to have nothing to show for it. But you just the greatest dude ever. You gonna see ugly ass LeBron with no goddamn shoes on in that day. Oh, man, you are uh, you LeBron, man. Going to be through. Fuck is his money going to do in that day if you see his ass or anybody that's famous or anybody that got any goddamn thing. You ain't going to have nothing. In that same day, you're going to know who are the Lord's chosen, man. The ones you call bums, the ones you said they ain't nothing. But yet, the Lord has been getting them through the ups and the downs. And when the time requires it, when it counts, that's when the Lord is going to come through for his. His servants shall eat. His servants shall drink. His servants shall rejoice for joy of heart. But you other people will starve, will thirst, and will howl for vexation of spirit. Okay? It says, uh, eat thou not the bread of him that have an evil eye. Esau, eat him, the self-reclaimed white man and his people. But he doesn't just have this system for his people, but for all people. He heapeth up to himself all people. As it tells you, was that Habakkuk? Man, he doesn't keep at home. This dude is every goddamn place. He tried it before. He wanted to Hellenize the world during the Greek Empire. Then that went down. He wanted to he wanted to give the world the the, the Roman idea. It is an idea, <laughs> Rome, right? Right? The shadow of Rome is vast, and you shall yet see yourself die under it. But then that came to a close. <laughs> On down to the damn colonization of the world after uh the Middle Ages. All right. They came back up into power with the weak ass Renaissance era, uh, 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 lying to the world, deceiving the world with weak ass uh, Caesar Borgia and all this other crap. And how uh, you're stupid and, and you got to have an IQ and you're a monkey and or either you're yellow, brown, red, uh, black, white, whatever the hell, which is all goddamn lies. His money system, which is a fucking lie. It was based off of actual substance, silver, gold. Uh, uh, lands, but now it, it ain't based off nothing, and you people still kill for it. It's crazy. It says, Eat thou not the bread of him that have an evil eye, neither desire thou his dainty meats. Now, this is the NLT. Don't eat with people who are stingy, don't desire their delicacies. You see, don't desire what they're trying to give you. It may sound good at the at the first. It's like you know, a brother said it. You know, a, a bunch of brothers said use the example that, especially to our women, the black women being number one, they presented this this woman's rights crap and welfare bullshit as cake, as a chocolate cake, but really it was smothered with shit. It wasn't a chocolate cake. It looked like a chocolate cake, but it was really shit. Like like the elder was uh, beautifully says. He said you can uh you can put syrup on shit, but it don't make it pancakes, man. So that's what this devil's gonna do with his weak ass RFID. When you when your ass get it, you gonna have a a, a, a a grievous sore, and then from that you gonna have a, a a a direct first class ticket with a missile, because that's gonna be your end. All right, that's it, man. Don't trust this man. All right. Who's going to pity a charmer that's bitten with a serpent 
or him that goes nigh wild beast. This man is, is the most cunning of all the beasts of the field. Esau, Edom. This is him, man. It says, um, that's what these devils are, are doing. They were, they're exploring alternative financing arrangements for our foundation. Because this country is not a country. It's a damn corporation. It's a foundation. All right? They, they're, they're moving it into a new system. And they don't give a damn about you people because you're, you're nothing but, I don't know what the hell you are. You're, you're nothing. You're cattle to them. You're nothing. You're expendable. All right. That's why the Lord told his people, hey, flee ye out of the midst of Babylon. Deliver every man his soul. Turn away from this man. Don't desire uh, his dainties. Choose none of his ways. You know, come on now. Oh, yeah, not bad. All right. It says don't eat with people who are stingy. Don't desire their delicacies. Verse seven. For as he thinketh in his heart, in his mind, so is he. Eat and drink, saith he to thee, but his heart is not with thee. It's not with you. <laughs> so go ahead, eat, drink. And it's funny because you watch a lot of ancient world movies. Uh, dude might just be there. Hey, man, thank you, man. Thank you, king shit. Hey, you know, might be eating and drinking the whole goddamn time. The nigga it, drunk poison wine. Dude drunk the wine like everybody looking at him like you throw. <laughs> he's like looking around like what the oh, oh, oh. And he's throwing up oh, oh, oh. and then he fucking croaks and dies and you looking at the show like damn the fuck oh shit he was just eating grubbing having a good ass time and then he died because he wasn't wise he ate the, the, the man's meat and wasn't even looking at the dude dude just sitting there he he ain't he ain't bit into nothing he ain't drunk nothing but yeah you eating everything drinking oh man thing man it's good yeah, yeah. and you dying the whole fucking time. That's what this man's gonna do. He's gonna set his MOTB system as a huge table of fucking food. And you're gonna eat it and you're gonna die. Alright, but we are gonna be like Daniel and his companions when they were offered the king's meat, and they're like, nah, we good. Fuck that. We're not gonna defile ourselves with the king's meat. We gonna we gonna get an alternative. And we gonna we gonna fare better than all the men that took indulgence in the king's meat. I'm going to get that, Lord willing. It says, this is NLT. They are always thinking about how much it costs. Eat and drink, they say, but they don't mean it. <whistles> you know? That's it. It is what it is. These devils have put so much of billions of dollars into what they're about to bring forth. They they already kind of know who's going to die, who's going to resist, who's going to fight, who's going to be reeducated. They can't, they know. So they're like, all right, they're putting in their money into the plans. All right, these are going to be the people that are going to fight. Let's get some soldiers and super soldiers and robots for them. These are people that's going to kind of rebel, but they're going to turn. We got the concentration camps for them. Reeducate their ass. Okay, these are people that are just going to. Uh, not give the fuck in. We just going to shut off cities, lock their ass in there. They're going to die of pestilence, famine, the lack of resources. These going to be the ones that's going to turn a uh, turn cold full tail. All right. We want some of them. The others we don't need. Kill them. Get, get uh, a FEMA coffins for their ass. So they already number these things out, man. Their mind is not with you. They're not thinking like you would think. They're thinking on a higher level, like y'all goyim, y'all ain't shit, your cattle, your fucking animals. You might think, oh no, we're all people who love, <laughs> but they looking at you like you're nothing, you're expendable. We want to kill you, fuck you. And it's part of my French, but they, that's what that's what's going on. They want to take over the world, and they don't give a shit what you think. You get with it or you die. That's what Revelation says. Uh, that all both small and great, rich and poor, free and brown shall receive a mark and who will not uh, will be killed. All right. Well, let me go there and get that then. And we're going to play this uh, this clip. Revelation 13. You already know we're going to go to that uh, should be killed part. Here we go. Now, this is Revelation 13, 16, and he calls it all both small and great. Rich and poor, free and bond, to receive and mark the MOTB, the MARK, the RFID, in their right hand, no matter what hand, because it tells you another place, in their hands, 
or in their foreheads. Hey, the brain chip, ugly ass Elon Musk, that clown. But you see that it, this is all a reality. It was once, oh man, that's fictitious. What the hell, hell no. But now you can see how real it is. And that no man might buy or sell, save he that have the mark, the RFID, or the name of the beast. You got to be a part of that system, that uh, universal product code, or the number of his name. Now, the man who uh, created the universal product code, his name was, and there's a conglomerate of, of other men, but he's the most well known because he's the guy. He died in 2020. Did his he did his uh he served his purpose, so to speak. His name was George Joseph Laura. A shout out to the elder Barack. This is the first time I ever heard this man's name was from that brother, but it's the spirit. The spirit led him to that. George Joseph Laura. Now, each of those names has six letters in it. It says a number of a man, a number of his name. Right? which is connected to the universal protocol, which is connected to the system, which is connected to everything that you buy or sell based on that barcode that has that numerical number every time. It's always going to be the same numerical sequence every time. Six, six, and six, because there's numbers in between. There's the elongated lines at the far left, an elongated line in the middle, and an elongated line to the right. But in between, there's other numbers and all that don't really mean nothing. But the main ones that come up on on uh, uh, online or whatever is the six, six and six based on the man's name. George Joseph Laura. George has six letters. Laura or Joseph has uh, George Joseph. Laura. Yeah, yeah. George has six letters. Joseph has six letters. Laura has six letters. Six, six, six. There you go. Not no weak ass tattoo or whatever these other clowns are saying. All right. It is what it is. This is verse 18. Here is wisdom. Let him that have understanding count the number of the beast. For it is the number of a man. And his number is 600, three score and six. That man is uh, George Joseph Laura. Look it up. The man who invented the universal product code. And you, and I don't give a damn wherever you go on the planet unless you're getting a damn orange from an Issacharite on the side of the road. And he's just telling you $2.00 or three pesos or whatever, is going to be a fucking barcode on that product. You go to any store, any any damn place, it's going to have that, uh, that barcode on there, that product code. All right? Unless it's some under-the-table stuff you're buying. But that's going to be done away with when they push in this new system. Come on now. All right, they hunt us in our steps, as it tells you in Lamentation. And we're going to get this word... Should be killed. Oh, yeah, I didn't bring that up. I skipped that. Now, this is Revelation 13 and 15. And he had power, who? Esau, Edom, to give life unto the image of the beast. Now, that image is that same Roman image, but in the technological age, everything that they offer you from democracy to homosexuality to freedom, all this other crap, all right, that they offer you in these Western nations mainly and preferably in America. Because a lot of these things are stemmed from this place and then spread across the world. All right. And he had power to give life unto the image of the beast. That the image of the beast should both speak. Because people going to crave for it. It's speaking unto you. It's talking unto you. Like this is the way. But it's not the way. It's the wrong way. And cause that as many as would not worship. Bow down to it adhere unto it uh, uh 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 just just you know accept it because the elect is not going to accept it others are going to fight freedom fighters whatever militias they all going to die die of different things but the elect is going to be safe and taken care of but it says and cause that as many as would not worship the image of the beast should be killed now let's get that uh the, the word killed all right I'm going to play this clip. Dang, I already went to this. All right. I'm going to play this clip, man. You have waited long enough. I'm going to play this clip. You know, I'm just going slow because uh, YT is weak as, weak as hell. So I'm going to play this clip. We're exploring alternative financing arrangements for our foundation. Those are the one that plays through and doesn't buffer. So uh, here we go. I'm going to play the clip. Shalom.
exploring alternative financing arrangements for our foundation. As Tay has no doubt already told you, we've reached a scale in our holdings that permits a great variety of transactions to be bundled in ways that make outside observation impossible. Yes, I've been informed. What's unfortunate is that people such as yourself, those with immaculate reputations, sometimes feel that by taking advantage of the opportunity, they're somehow tarnished. The money's yours. Family wealth is a thing to be proud of, and you ought to be able to move it as you like with your privacy intact. The Empire's new regulations, made without Senate consultation, I might add, are as cumbersome as they are avoidable. They've made a game of it, and we play. Woo! <laughs> I like what he's there right there. He said we made a, they made a game of it, and we have to play. See, these devils are going to make a game of it, and you have to play. It would seem like that from a carnal standpoint. But from a spiritual standpoint, hell no, I ain't got to play. I'm going to trust in Yahweh Bashim al -Shai. The just shall live by faith. They're going to step out on the unknown. But yet, well known. Yahweh Bashim al -Shai is well known with those that have faith. The household of faith. For you carnal people, you don't know Yahweh Bashim al -Shai Because you have not faith. And without that, it is impossible to please our power. All right? Now they think, oh, well, they don't, you know, adhere to our system. They're going to die. And the word there is apocteno, right? It says to kill in any way, whatever, to destroy, to allow, to perish, to extinguish. All right, let's go to the root of the word. There we go. Apo. Yep, and that's it. Let me play the rest of this clip. This is a charitable fund we're establishing. So I've been told. What will it cost? My fee. We assume it's a percentage of funds transferred. I want no fee. Money means very little to me at this point. Charity, isn't it? I insist. And I refuse. Please take no offence. I'd prefer not to owe any favours. I'd feel far more comfortable paying you for your trouble. A drop of discomfort may be the price of doing business. <laughs> yeah, I like what he said. He said a drop of miscomfort might be the price of doing business. <laughs> hey, because you people are going to be in, in a horrible state. You're going to have miscomfort like a mother effort, man. Because you're going to have that grievous sore on your ass by, by trusting in this demon. Esau eat him, man. But this is what, hey, some of y'all going to not take it and you're going to be Edomites and other heathen that didn't leave and go to your own weak-ass countries. In time, you're going to be trapped here in Babylon forever. Woo! Forever purge, right? But you ain't going to be like the elect. The elect is going to have abundance. They're going, the Lord is going to deal with them. It's going to cover them, save them, care for them, attend unto them, right? Michael going to stand up and the other angels for them, for the elect, but for the rest of you people, it is going to be a separation from the whole of society. But we're going to be separate as well. We're going to separate ourselves and cleave unto our power. Right. It says of separation of local separation uh, after verbs of motion from a place, i.e. of departing or fleeing or of fleeing. So we're going to uh, run from the, the evil that's coming. Said the prudent man foresee the evil and hide them. So we're going to flee and hide under the shadow of the Almighty, the protection of Yahweh Bashim al Shai. We're going to depart from this, whatever, all that we have ever known. We're about to depart from that. It's not going to be easy, but hey, if you have done it in your mind, this shit has already it's been dead since you came into the truth. Yeah, you move about, you do what you got to do, go to your ugly ass job, move around, drive, get some weak ass gas, get some food. Uh, deal with your family, but your mind is already out of this fucking place. You've already seen this shit destroyed a billion times by reading the scriptures. So I've seen it destroyed over and over again. It's like a never-ending dream. It's destroyed. But for a lot of our people that just don't know, it's going to be real hard for you because you never really let go of this place. The elect is going to let go wholly of this fucking place and grab on wholly to Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai. It says of separation of a part from the whole. So you as that part, the elect is going to be that small part taken from the whole. We're going to be separated from the whole of society by not adhering unto their system. All right. It says whereof a whole, some part is taken. 
of any kind of separation of one thing from another. So we're going to be separated from this, uh, this society, everything that we have ever known. We're going to be taken from it. We're going to separate from it. All right. It says by which the union or fellowship of the two is destroyed. We ain't going to have any fellowship or union with this society anymore because it's going to be changed into a digital system. And we're not going to be a part of it because we're not going to be connected to it by way of the RFID. Come on now. It says of a state of separation that is of distance. Man, physical going to be physically separated from this place of a of distance of place we're going to probably be well we're going to be moving around the lord said be even as a pilgrim in those evils the lord is going to keep us he's going to be our guide neither be afraid neither doubt for the lord is your guide all right it says temporal is only going to be for a short time the hour of temptation of distance of time all right of the place whence anything is comes befalls is taken so this is going to befall everybody. It's going to be a trap, a snare, a pit. But the Lord is going to get his elect through. All right. He will always be there for his elect. He will never leave us nor forsake us so that we may boldly say the Lord is our helper. Let's get that. Uh, is it Hebrews. I'm not back at Hebrews 13. Five and six. OK, and it, it reads, let your conversation be without covetedness. We're not going to cover what these people got. Oh, man, I got all of my DJ, man, shit, I'm living. Like, you a damn fool because your ass is going to have a grievous sore. You ain't going to have what you want to have. You a nigga. You, they ain't going to let you live in their society. Fuck that. You think you got it, nigga, you through, punk. Especially if you are people or you a heathen. They, they ain't. No, nah, no, no. You ain't going to have a better life. You're going to be more through like these niggas that got the juicy juice. These people that got the juicy juice, they wish they can go back in time and never get it. But now a lot of them is in the spirit realm, uh, going through it, have ailments up the wazoo, whether you young, old, never had any health problems. Now you through. Now you're done because you were dumb and you didn't listen. You thought you knew what was best and you didn't know. Believing in your punk ass government. Knowing that they about to destroy your ass. And we're giving you another warning. But a lot of our people is not going to take it. They're going to take the RFID and they're going to be destroyed. All right. This is uh, verse 5, Hebrews 13 and 5. It says, let your conversation, which is the way you live, be without covetousness and be content. Ooh, that's the word. That's a key word right there. Be content. It says, be content with such things as ye have. For he have said, who? I will never leave thee nor forsake thee. You see that? Verse 6. So that we may boldly say the elect, the hopeful elect, the Lord, Yahweh is you got to know his name. Because you just say, oh, the Lord is my, oh, the Lord who? Lord Rothschild? Who the fuck? Who are you talking about? We're going to say the Lord, Yahweh Bashim Al Shai, is my helper. Come on now. So that we may boldly say, the Lord, Yahweh Bashim Al Shai, is my helper. And I will not fear what man shall do unto me. Because man, are these elites, these clowns, they're going to shut off society. They're going to close you out. They're going to shut off your money. It's going to be a new system. They're going to give you an ultimatum. And that's what it's going to be. We ain't going to feel what man can do in this. They might capture you. Oh, we're going to kill your ass. You don't want to take the chip. We're going to chop your damn head off. Okay, whatever. Take my head, whatever. But your whole weak ass system, your country and all, everything that you ever known is about to be destroyed. Demon, do what you will. Do your worst. Clown, you about to send me where I want to go. Punk, and you're going to see me again. <laughs> you got to look at that word, punk, man. <laughs> hey, Jake is known to say that. Hey, that's a spiritual word, man. <laughs> you look a punk, hey. Shoot, hey, the Lord gonna put it on my what to say in that hour. You know? Rocket that y'all about your mouth shy, man. Man. <laughs> hey, that's it. It says, Remember them which have the rule over you, who have spoken unto you in the word of Yahweh. Unto you the word of Yahweh Bashmah Shai is like it, whose faith follow. Considering the end of their conversation, their way of life. NLT, remember your leaders who 
who taught you the word of Yahweh. Beautiful leaders. We have the greatest of leaders because they tell us the truth. They don't they don't need to lie. You you devils, you black ass devils out there, you Latin devils and you native devils out there. That's that's ruling over our people that know that you're Israel and you're lying about these things that are coming. Death and destruction to you. Fuck you. We're going to see your ass on the other side. But you're going to be nothing in the kingdom. You're going to be the lowest scum. You're going to be lower than our people that's rapping right now. <laughs> you're going to be lower than them because you knew. And you ain't no leader. You're a goddamn hireling. But we're going to remember our true leaders that Yahweh Bashimashai has set up. That was according to his heart. All right? It says, remember your leaders who taught you the word of Yahweh Bashimashai. Think of all the good. That has come from their lives. <laughs> Man, preaching this word. That's life itself. Yeah, we go through it. Yeah, we ain't got everything that everybody else got. But F that. Because none of that crap is going to count for nothing. But the faith that these men have. And the faith that we have gained over the years. And that the elect is going to have. Is going to count for something. Alright. So just think of all the good that he has. Uh, like it. Think of all the good that has come from their lives. And follow their and follow the example of their faith. And I'm gonna read this right here. Man. This right here. This this is what we gotta know. Yahweh Shai says, Yahweh Shai Mashiach, which is the true name of our Lord and his in his true title. His true title is Hamashiach, which is the anointed in the, the ancient Paleo Hebrew, and his true name is Yahweh Shai. Yah meaning he, Yahweh Shai meaning deliverer. And Savior, it says, even though it says Jesus Christ right there, it says Yahweh Shah Mashiach, the same yesterday and today and forever. <sighs> See, he's the one that's been sustaining you through the Father. He's the, the the middleman between us and our power. He has made peace between us and our God. He's the reason that the, the Yahweh's wrath is not on us anymore. If we are indeed those those individuals, man. Verse eight, NLT. Yahweh Shai Mashiach is the same yesterday, today, and forever. Come on now, Barakatai Yahweh Shai Mashiach. Now let's go to um, uh, Daniel. All right, Daniel and his companions did not eat of the king's meat. They didn't give a shit about the weak ass king's meat. Fuck that. And it was a decree they. It's almost like, damn, they had to do it. Like, did they have any other choice? They were in captivity. More than, than, than Jake right now, you niggas are not. I mean, y'all in captivity, but like Daniel and them, they were up there in the king's court. They were being prepared to meet the king, and they had to eat at the king's meat. Like, man, if you don't shit, it ain't not only your head going to be on the chopping block, but my head as well. Come on now. Like, come on. But, but let's look at the faith of Daniel and his companions, man. Same as when the damn uh, uh, trumpets and all the damn music was playing. Everybody was supposed to bow down to that weak ass image. The three holy sons didn't bow down. They didn't give a shit about bowing down. And, and that the penalty was being thrown into a furnace of fire. Come on now. Daniel uh, didn't keep the decree that was uh, sent out that nobody else was supposed to pray to any God. Save the king himself. And Daniel didn't give a shit. He was like, fuck that. I'm praying to the true power. My God. I'm going to face towards Jerusalem, the temple that once stood, and I'm going to pray to my power as I've always done. And the Lord delivered him from the den of lions. Come on, man. But then you got these clowns out here that have no faith. Well, you telling me you read these stories and don't nothing spark you in your spirit? to be like, ah, hell yeah. Those are for us, hell yeah. We're going to stand up. Fuck these assholes out here, man. These weak-ass Edomites. We're in the celebration of, of, of defeating their ass. Hanukkah. And you got niggas out here just no faith. Come on, man. A death and destruction to you faithless pieces of scum. No wonder the Lord don't ain't pleased with, with, with somebody that ain't got that. Come on now. Use a clown if you don't got that. Especially if you have our people and you read these scriptures of our forefathers, our foreparents. And you don't, and don't nothing spark you. Hey, the Most High got something through Yahweh Shai for your weak self. You weak. Now I get Esau, he's a clown. He's a fool. He believed that there is no God. And these other heathens, they was given to worship idols and shit that ain't got no breath in it. 
But yet you so-called Negroes, Latinos and Native Americans, you know, the true power in your in your DNA. He's there. This book speaks to you. You may not understand it fully, but it speaks to you. But yet you just faithless is all hell. Death and destruction to you, faithless pieces of scum. All right. And this is Daniel one and five. And the king appointed them a daily provision of the king's meat and of the wine which he drank. So nourishing them three years that at the end thereof, they might stand before the king. That is a long time that they were preparing them to meet the king. Just like what they doing with this, uh, bringing this system in. They had to shut the world down, you know, then they brought forth the juicy juice for some idiots that fell for that. And now they bringing in that system. Now they're getting closer to what they want. And then they just, the system will crumble, crash, fall down. And then they're going to bring forth the new system. And a lot of people ain't ready for it because they ain't watching. Okay. Play this clip back a little bit. Bam. About right there. You know? And we looking at these devils just like she looking. <laughs> like you motherfuckers can't play with me. Y'all through. All right. But um, let's read on. It says, now among... These were the children of Judah, Daniel, Hananiah, Mishael, and Azariah. Verse 7, unto whom the prince of the eunuchs gave names. For he gave unto Daniel the name Belteshazzar, and to Hananiah of Shadrach, and to Mishael of Meshach, and, and to Azariah of Abednego. But Daniel purposed in his heart, in his mind. See, this is what we're going to say. Uh, 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 Lord's willing. man. We're going to say, no, we got to trust in the Lord. We must trust in Yahabashimashai. Fuck these devils. Fuck what they got going. I don't give a shit. Your ugly ass woman go. And your children, you be like, damn, what the fuck? You know? But you going to be like, well, I ain't. Fuck that. I don't give a damn what y'all do. I'll see y'all on the other side. I'm not giving in. Fuck that. But you're gonna die, her daddy. <laughs> Please, baby. <laughs> you're gonna be looking at them. Hey, F you. Forget you. I'll see you on another. I'm not giving in. Fuck that. What, what? I'm gonna give in? And you think I'm gonna escape from the Almighty and His Son? Fuck that. No, I'd rather not give in and die for my power. And then who's, who's to say you're gonna die? <laughs> That's the faith we got. Come on now. Better say your family don't give in and they all. Y'all want to die together. That would be even more beautiful. But it goes to show you that, hey, I'm telling you, man, hey, let's do it. But Daniel purposed in his heart that he would not defile himself with the portion of the king's meat, nor with the wine which he drank. Therefore, he requested of the prince of the eunuchs that he might not defile himself. Now, Yahweh had brought Daniel into favor and tender love with the prince of the eunuchs. See, the Lord can do anything. He changed the man's mind to actually hear Daniel out. See, when your ways please the Lord and make even your enemies be at peace with you, say you at a damn concentration camp and they cool with you, they're like, man, shit, I ain't gonna give you that. Fuck that. I ain't gonna, shit, I believe shit. Hey, you don't pray for me. You know, and hey, we gonna, I'm gonna get you out of there. Fuck that. Hey, man, how you gonna do that? Like, hey, you might, you might be put to death. I'm cool with it. I don't care. But he's like, hey, man, forget it, man. Shit, watching you, shit, hey, you know, it might be Jake. Shit, I got, I got a little spirit on me, shit. You know, I'm going to get you out of it. Or it'll be to the point where you about to be slain and the Lord gets you out of there. An angel come get you out of there like Peter or or earthquake happens and you loose from your, you know, from your prison. Anything can happen, man. We serve the power of miracles and wonders. <laughs> come on now. And if you don't believe that, get the hell off this video. Go watch some booty shaking shit or some nigga rapping. I'm going in on Yahweh Shai with this lesson because we trust in our power and his anointed. We look to our forefathers and we like, damn, they were some great men. Even certain women, Judith, uh, 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 Susanna, uh, 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 Esther, which her name was uh, Hadassah. Her true Hebrew name was Hadassah, which means Myrtle. And, and other different women, even women that wasn't even of our nation. Uh, uh, Rahab the harlot believed the spies before they took down Jericho. All right, uh, 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 Ruth. All right, she said, I'm going to die where you die, told Naomi. 
I'll die when you die. Your God is my God. Come on now. But yeah, you got our people that day. this is your God. He did all these great things for you and your forefathers. And you just going to get in. Use a clown. Definite instruction to you. Even though you got to play this role, but it's like, damn, I wouldn't want to play that role of being a fucking weak ass sellout. Uh, damn coward. No, nah, hell no. No. Who wants to be the coward in the movie or the damn bad guy or the fucking henchman? The, nobody wants to really play that role. I know I don't. You you want to play the hero. You want to play the side, sidekick. You want to play the good guy. You want to play the person getting saved. You don't want to play the fucking bad guy. But a lot of you Jakes are the fucking villains of this picture, man. With Esau, weak ass Edom. All right. It says, now Yahweh had brought Daniel into favor and tender love with the prince of the eunuchs. And the prince of the eunuchs said unto Daniel, I fear my lord, the king, <laughs> who have appointed your meat and your drink. For why should he see your faces worse liking than the children, which are of your sort? Then shall ye make me in danger? Uh, uh, so like it. Then shall ye make me in danger my head to the king? It says, then said Daniel to Melzar, whom the prince of the eunuchs had set over Daniel, Hananiah, Mishael, and Azariah. Prove thy servants. This is, this is Daniel speaking. I beseech thee, which means to beg thee, old English, 10 days. And it's funny because you might be cast into the prison 10 days, as it tells you in Revelation. Now, it could be actually 10 days, three days, an hour, a week, two weeks, a month. But you might you you going to have favor in there. I believe that because Joseph had favor when he was in the prison, the, the two years he's over the prison. Daniel had favor with this uh, Melzar who was over the eunuchs, the prince of the eunuchs. Right. So the Lord is going to give you favor. Remember what the scriptures say. When your ways please Yahweh Bashimel Shai, he'll make even your enemies to be at peace with you. Then it tells you in Jeremiah that the enemy shall entreat thee well in the time of evil. Come on now. It says, uh, prove thy servants, I beseech thee, ten days, and let them give us pulse to eat, which is vegetables, and water to drink. Then let our countenances be looked upon before thee, and the countenance or countenance of the children that eat of the portion of the king's meat, as thou seest, deal with thy servants. Now people gonna know uh, uh who are the Lord's servants and who ain't. Let's uh, for Daniel one. Uh, let me get that in the blue letter and I'm going to get another scripture real quick. I just want to bounce around. I want to hit uh, certain points before this is out and over. Uh, Daniel one, I'm going to go to 14. Bear with me, brothers, man, something about the scriptures, man, it just wakes you up. It arouses your spirit, man. But let's, let's get up out of there. Let's go to, uh, an abundance because you got to remember the Lord said, then shall you know who are my, my chosen. Let me get that in second interest. Those of you that consent unto this demon. Uh, let's see here. Let me go to Habakkuk three first. And, uh, we get, uh, no, not Habakkuk three, Habakkuk two. So like it, Habakkuk two and, uh, four. Behold, his soul, which is lifted up, Esau, Edom, is not upright in him, but the just shall live by faith. The elect is going to live by faith, and his soul is going to be lifted up because it's not upright in him. He's going to come down having great wrath, knowing that he had but a short time. Yet also, because he transgresseth by wine, his own philosophies has, has messed his ass up, that he believes that what he's doing is the right thing, or he's going to really achieve this. He is a proud man, neither keepeth at home. Yeah, he's conquered all these different lands. He's every goddamn place with this system. He's going to connect it all together as a fucking spider web. All right. But we like that spider. We're going to secrete that that oil and we're going to glide across the web. We're not going to get caught in it. We're going to glide across it through the spirit and power of Yahweh. We have that oil. It says in the dwelling of the wise, there is oil. Hey, we're going to glide across this damn trap, this web that this demon is setting. It says, who enlarges his desire is hell, the grave, the pit, all right, and is as death, and cannot be satisfied, but gathereth unto him all nations. He's going to do that with this system. And he put unto him all people. Man, this was going to bring in this system. 
Shall not all these take up a parable against him? This was going to lead to World War Three because somebody's going to have to lead and bring forth this new system into uh, this new age and shit. You know, it's just like how after World War Two, America came out as a superpower. Right. Somebody's going to have to come out on top. This is what these nations are going to think. Well, somebody has to come out on top. Fuck America. They ain't going to come out. Russia going to think they going to do it. China think they going to do it or whatever. But really, ain't nobody going to come out on top among these nations. But guess who's going to show up in the midst of it all? Un, un, uh, unannounced or unexpected is going to be our Lord and our Savior, Yahweh Shah Hamashiach, who's going to take these uh, kingdoms and their dominions. All right? For the kingdoms of this world have become the kingdoms of our power and of his anointed. All right? It says, shall not all these take up a parable against him and a taunting proverb against him and say, woe to him. That increaseth that which is not his. Yeah, you were given the earth for a time, but it's not yours for the taking. It is not yours to conquer. It is the Lord's to take in righteousness, right? It says, how long? And to him that ladeth himself with thick clay, there's a heavy debt in order to get up out of here or out of this debt, so to speak, and bring forth a new system and have everybody uh, interconnected, uh, the Internet of bodies, the Internet of things. He's going to connect all people uh, with this digital system. All right. That's it. And then that's. Uh, they gonna keep reading. Shall they not rise up suddenly that shall bite thee and war is going to break out. While this man is establishing the system is going to come to a point. But war is going to break out once he has enough people chip CHIP war is going to break out. World War three. So shall not uh, they not. So like it shall they not rise up suddenly that shall bite thee and awake that shall vex thee and thou shalt be for booties unto them because this place is going to be invaded. Ugly ass America. All right. And it's going to be in civil war. Egyptian against Egyptian. The modern day Egyptians, you Americans versus Americans. Because thou hast spoiled many nations. Yep. All the remnant of the people shall spoil thee because of men's blood and for the violence of the land. And of the city and of all that dwell therein. Woe to him that coveteth an evil covetedness to his house, that he may set his nest on high, that he may be delivered from the power of evil. That's it. And you ain't going to be delivered from the power of evil. E is going to be brought unto you and all you people that consent unto his ways, that covet an evil covetedness, which ultimately is his ugly ass RFID, that has consulted shame to thy house. By cutting off many people and has sinned against thy soul. <whistles> Done. You through. And they say you speak smooth words, but war was in your heart. And yet you were drawn swords. And it goes to show you that even in that time, uh, let's go to second uh Edris, I like it. I'm gonna go to second Edris and get the point of you people that can send unto this idiot, this demon Esau Edom, this clown. You're going to be had in derision and a proverb of reproach. All right, let's go. There it is. Yep. Well, I start at uh, uh, 68. For behold, the burning wrath of a great multitude is kindled over you. <whistles> and they shall take away certain of you. People are going to be taken out of their homes and taken to these concentration camps. And feed you. Then. Yeah, they're going to give you something to eat. Some fucking gruel. M more a porridge, sir. Or uh, soil and green, or uh, hey, they already talking about your ass is gonna eat not frosted flakes, but goddamn frosted uh roaches, roach flakes, or some shit. I don't know, <laughs> but you believe in this demon, so you gonna get what 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 he deserves. See, the Lord's gonna have his men and 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 their families eating uh, in abundance, eating good things, but the rest of you people gonna be eating crap, shit. You are eating crap right now. It says, and feed you being idle. You're going to be in one place idle with things offered unto idols. Because you're going to be offered unto their idols, unto their gods. You getting that that, that uh, digital all, you're going to be offered unto their gods. Because the Lord ain't going to have nothing to do with you anymore. Your body is going to be defiled. Your temple is going to be sacked and overtaken. And the Lord is going to see you as a, only a sacrifice that is offered by the devil. And he's going to bring that sacrifice to Bozer. You going to be a part of that sacrifice. You two thirds that adhere to this man's waist. Uh, you going to die. 
the heathen that's in this land, they're going to die. And the Edomites that are in this land are going to die. Only the, the only ones that's going to be taken out is the elect of the nation of Israel. All right. And they that consent unto them shall be had in derision and in reproach and trodden underfoot. Yeah, because it's going to be Jacob's trouble. They're going to hunt your ass down. You'll be traded down as the mire in the streets. For there shall be in every place and in the next cities a great insurrection upon those that fear the Lord. They're going to be hunting down Jacob. They don't give a damn if you're here. Bow down. Get the, get the mess or not. They're going to be hunting all Jake. Now, the ones that's going to be protected is the elect. Certain of us is going to be beheaded, but hey, it's all good. We're going to have another spirit on us. We ain't going to give a shit about that. We're going to be like Stephen or Stephen when he got stoned. We ain't going to feel it. We're going to be like uh, uh, the, uh, Antipas. All right, that, that beautiful brother Antipas in uh, Revelation, he uh, he he didn't die feeling anything it's as if he went to sleep. You know, come on, when you go into the history of Antipas. All right, it says uh, they shall be like madmen, these soldiers with those brain chips and and, and super soldier uh, exoskeleton suits and all that. They're going to be sparing none, but still spoiling and destroying those that fear the Lord. But they shall waste and take away their goods and cast them out of their houses. It's going to be a very bad time for you people that know not Yahweh Bashim You're not going to know what the freak is going on because you're uh, uh, not of Yahweh Shai. For the testimony of Yahweh Shai is the spirit of prophecy. You're supposed to know that this was going to happen. It's coming. The Lord let you know through us. And he let us know. But. But uh, you heard it and we heard it. The thing that it was with you was that you didn't have faith. And what did we have? Faith. When we heard it, it was mixed with faith. When you heard it, it wasn't. It had no profit to you. It says, then shall they be known who are my chosen, the elect, and they shall be tried as gold in the fire. Here, O ye, my beloved, saith the Lord, Yahweh Bashem al-Shah, behold, the days of trouble are at hand, but I will deliver you from the same. Be ye not afraid, neither doubt. For Yahweh Bashim al Shai is your guide. Beautiful. Now let's go to 2nd Andrews 2. And I'm going to end it in Daniel. We're going to get up out of here. 2nd Andrews 2 and 26. And it reads, As for the servants whom I have given thee, there shall not one of them perish. For I will require them from among thy number. Be not weary, for when the day of trouble and heaviness cometh, others shall weep and be sorrowful. But thou shalt be merry and have abundance. The heathen shall envy thee, but they shall be able to do nothing against thee, saith the Lord Yahweh. Bashim Yahweh verse 29. My hands shall cover thee, so that thy children shall not see hell. And I like in the clip where he says, It's your money. You should use it when you like. And and and, and, and with much privacy. So they're gonna make it seem so glamorous and so good for you to get this madness, the RFID, but it's gonna lead to your demise. But you're going to have to stand on your P's and Q's. We're going to stand as Daniel and his companions stood. Okay? This is Daniel 1 and 13. Then let our countenance be looked upon before thee, and the countenance of the children that eat of the portion of the king's meat. Because they, hey, the, those that eat of the king's meat in this time, they're going to have a grievous sore. And as thou seest, deal with thy servants. Verse 14. So he consented to them in this matter and proved them ten days. See, people going to see the elect having abundance and being married, and they're not going to be able to do a damn thing against them. Like, damn, how the fuck they, the whole dog. Nigga going to be in a concentration camp with a weak ass rice cracker, but the elect is going to be eating lamb. They're going to be eating all types of beautiful, good things, right? Monitoring from heaven every every day. They, they, they seeing something like a cloud sh overshadowing some people over there cheering and, and praising. Hey, who is that white stuff raining down? Like, what the hell? Oh, shit, and they eating it, man. Look good, though, shit. I'm, I ain't eating nothing. I'm, I'm through. So the people going to see, like a brother in, in Dallas beautifully put, he said, our enemies must be close enough to see us if they're going to be envying us. They're going to have to be close enough to see and hear and smell the food, see the, the happiness on our face uh, and the praising of the Lord. They're going to have to be considerably close to see all these things. And at the end of the 10 days, their countenances appeared fairer and fatter in flesh than all the children which did eat the portion of the king's meat. You see that? 
Let's read the NLT. And at the end of the 10 days, Daniel and his three friends looked healthier and better nourished than the young men who had been eating the food assigned by the king. Thus, Melzar took away the portion of their meat and the wine that they should drink and gave them pulse, which is the vegetables. It says, as for these four children, Yahweh gave them knowledge and skill in all learning and wisdom. And Daniel had understanding in all visions and dreams. Baraka Yahweh, the Lord is only going to increase us and make us better in these times because we did not adhere unto this demon, this devil, Esau, Edom. All right, uh, uh, was that uh, was it Isaiah? I'm gonna get the last scripture, Isaiah 10, and then we'll get another scripture in the uh, apocrypha. And I'm gonna close out. Okay, bear with me, brothers. Bear with me. No longer stay upon him. Yep, yep, that's it. This is hope. For Yahweh's people, Yahweh Shemashah's people. And it shall come to pass in that day that the remnant of Israel and such as are escaped of the house of Jacob shall no more again stay upon him, excuse me, that smote them, Esau, Edom, but shall stay upon the Lord, Yahweh Shemashah, the Holy One of Israel, in truth. Verse 21 The remnant shall return, even the remnant of Jacob, unto the mighty God. Barakatai Yahweh Shemashah, man. Okay, we're going to get to uh, letters of Jeremiah or the letter of Jeremiah and then we're going to end it there. What uh, what it said. Let's see here. Okay. Put another letter of Jeremiah. Boom. Yep. And we're going to go right. There we go. Letter of Jeremiah 1 and 5. Beware, therefore, that ye in no wise be like to strangers, neither be ye and of them. When you see the multitudes before them and behind them, worshiping them. See, because the, the people of this world is going to worship this damn devil for his weak ass signs and his ugly ass brain chip. RFID crap. But we're not going to do that. F that. But say ye in your hearts and our minds, O Lord, we must worship thee. Ooh, man, that's it. Verse seven. For mine angel is with you and I myself caring for your souls. So you, you Akim out there and you sisters, you believers, look unto the shepherd and bishop of your souls. Yahweh Bashim al Shai, man. And he will guide you and lead you to eternal life, to an everlasting kingdom where rest is allowed to that broad field which dwelleth all good things. We just got to get through this time. So with that, giving all praises, glory and honor unto Yahweh Bashim al Shai, Bashim. Rakah Kodash, double honors unto my apostles, my elders, and my teachers at Great Millstone that are ruling well and continue to do so. Salutations, peace, and blessings unto the hopeful elect, the house of David. To your brothers out there fighting this good fight of faith, keep it up. Shalom. To your sisters doing that which is becoming of women, shalom. And to those that are addicted unto this ministry, I say, shalom. Lord's when you have been edified until the next time I say, shalom. On to the next one. Shalom.